everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I know I've been gone for a while. A lot of things have happened in my life. <sighs> I'll be closing on my home here in December. God has blessed me with another home. You know, this was a smaller home. Me and my wife uh, are in the process of adopting for teenage kids, so we needed more space. I'm also taking care of my mom, so we needed a bigger place. So that's what uh, I've been, you know, basically doing. We've been doing house hunting. We finally found one that's going to be able to support our family. So, you know, I haven't been able to do content because we've been zigzagging across the city, different cities, looking at houses. And we found one and they accepted our offer. So here in December, we'll be moving out of our current home into our new home. And then I'll be selling the one I'm in right now. God has truly blessed us. and I thank him for it. But on to the topic at hand. Get out and vote. Our country depends on all legal voters voting. This is a constitutional republic, which means every, every legal voice counts. You know, you hear a lot about where the democracy is at, at, at stake. Democracy is where mob rules, where a majority of people control what happens. No, no, no. All of us have a voice in our constitutional republic where we get to decide individually how we want our government to run and who we want to elect in our government. And what has happened in the, re in the rise of Donald Trump was because those politicians that we put up there in Washington, D.C., stopped listening to we the people. They were the majority. So they did things the way they wanted to, them to be done. So they stopped listening to we the people. So that's why Donald Trump was able to win in 2016. And I guess the people decided they didn't want that type of leadership. And then they ushered in Biden. And we saw how from uh, 2020 to 2024 has, has, has evolved. So I'm not going to tell you which way to vote, but you see on the screen which way I voted. I voted for policy. My pockets were better during that administration than they are in this administration. And even though I was able to buy a home, and even though I'm living comfortable, there are millions of you out there that are not living comfortable. And you're the ones I'm, I'm standing up voting for so that you can have the same opportunity so that your pockets and, and when you spend money that goes a, a little bit further than is going right now. So that's why it's important that you go out and vote. And don't fall into that, that category where say, well, my vote don't count. Every legal vote counts because sometimes the, the margins are razor thin. So please, I implore you, please go out and cast your vote. I'm not gonna tell you which way to vote, but you need to vote so you can get into the conversation and explain, okay, this is why I voted the way that I voted. Both sides have pitched their 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 agendas the way they want to lead the country. And you've been able to see both sides in action. You saw one side for four years and you've seen the other side for four years. So you can decide which way you want your country to be ran. You want your country to be ran the way it's been ran for the last four years? Or do you want it to be ran the way it was before they came into office? You decide which one where your pocketbook felt better for you. You had more green in your pocket versus less green. You decide. That's all I can say. I'm not going to tell you which way to vote because I can't, you know, and one important thing I want you to do when you go out to these electronic voting ballots, when you put that piece of paper in and it, and you make sure you make your choices. And when it prints out your ballot, you verify Everything that you voted for, you ensure that it's on that piece of paper the same way that you picked your choices on that screen. And if it's not, you need to raise that up and let it be known. Hey, this is not the way I voted. This needs to be corrected because there have been instances where people voted a certain way, but it did not print out that way. It printed out with a totally different uh, slate of, of, of people that they didn't vote for. So that's the only advice I can give you as far as voting. Verify if you're doing computerized voting that what you picked is what's on that piece of paper that gets tabulated at the end of the night. That's the key. 
but I pray that everybody goes out and votes. You know, we fought for the right to vote for blacks as well as women. Please go out and vote. Please go out and voice your opinion of how you want your country to be ran. And as always, God bless you all. Stay safe.